Because when you walk outside and with the police, they're going to remind you that you are black. So mm -hmm. whether you hood, whether you intelligent, whether you're a lawyer or a judge, that doesn't matter. They don't see that. All they see is the color of our skin. Mm. So when it comes to being black, it's only one way. Because we will be reminded. They, that, like, like growing up, they say, no matter how high you go, they're going to remind you that you're going to be reminded that you are a what? Mm. I won't say that word, but you're yeah. black. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, no matter how high you go. For, for me, it's more, as I have a different take on it again, yeah, probably yeah, because of my different, um, where, I've, where I've grown up. But I kind of think of it as like, you could be... A couple of ways of black, basically, an either external or internal. So mm -hmm. your um, the, the color of your skin and the, the background that you hold and and the pride of your your skin is from within, mm -hmm. um, and you treat it that way and you um, project that onto the world. Mm -hmm. um, and then the alternative is the external, which is you allow the world to think whatever it wants of you, mm -hmm. and you go with the flow of that, either negative or positive. So that might be that. Yeah, the police are going to be looking at you and judging you, um, or that you trust in the police and you're like, yeah, they whatever they can think, whatever. I'm not worried about them. Mm. So depending on where, that is where a privilege you, I've never yeah. had. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, in that's, the limited interaction, like my godfather's a cop. Like I grew, like, uh, but I've never had the privilege of being of uh, of deciding who I wanted to be. Uh, until I came to Australia, deciding who I wanted to be externally and then and, and then showing that there was yeah, 